guys had a really good sleep last night uh didn't want to get up and ride this morning <laughs> uh before we leave i'll just show you uh where i slept last night then so here is the wild camp uh remember leave no trace my bike is proper dirty i am absolutely freezing guys uh just a massive temperature change it went down to 12 degrees yesterday um plus with my clothes being wet like the some like my shorts that i'm wearing right now uh it's added a chill factor i was able to dry my clothes yesterday it's supposed to be a sunny one today uh up until i forget when it is uh, i think 12 or something like that and then it's going to be cloudy hopefully no rain and uh make the view this way because it's beautiful uh so let's get on the road let's get on the road I'm not sure where I'm going today. Uh, I know I'm going to where the Humber Bridge is. Uh, I'm trying to look for a warm showers host. Hopefully that can happen. If not, then uh, I'll do my original route, uh, but I forgot what it is. Uh, what I will do is I'm gonna ride down the road, find somewhere to sit, charge up if I can. Uh, that's the other thing as well. Um, there's uh, two supermarkets, but they don't offer cafes. Uh, so I have to find some like local cafe somewhere and <laughs> hopefully they'll have charging because I do need to charge up uh, I'm pretty low on that. Um, so yeah, and then I can figure out the rest of the details, but let's get rolling. Good morning, we're back. What time? <sighs> Light in my face. I know. Uh, the time is 9. 50 so it's a starting late one today we've got a hill coming up 161 meters climb uh, I think that's probably going to be the tallest one in a while it's cold guys really really chilly weather's definitely changed uh, which sucks it feels like we're back into spring. <laughs> uh, I don't like this. Anyway, uh, today's ride. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do. I've reached out to a couple of warm showers hosts, um, some before the Humber Bridge. So there's that. And then there's some after Beverly. Well, sorry, in Beverly. And that's how you say it. Town of Beverly. Uh, that would be nice. And then there's another little town after that. Let me just quickly look it up. Driffield. Yeah, so maybe Driffield. I've got uh, 95 Ks to go. Um, if, to reach the end point, which would be just after Beverly. So we'll see. Uh, it could be another world camp tonight. I'm hoping I'll be lucky. One of the hosts in Beverly will will uh, uh, give me a place to stay. Really need to charge. I need to do my laundry again. Um, and it'd be just nice to have some company chat with some people chat with some locals make some new friends so yeah uh, I'm hoping that the weather's gonna hold out and it won't rain that's the sky right now <sighs> I do not like this cold I thought about actually we're coming up to a hole and there you can catch a ferry over to Holland and now that I've been double jabbed and I do have my passport on me I could just take the ferry over to Holland and then start a cycling down through Europe instead instead of going to wee bonnie cold Scotland cold rainy Scotland they're having it pretty bad at the moment over there amble warning for uh, thunderstorms and showers and stuff oh, I'm glad I'm not there this week 
But anyway, I'm just rambling. Let's see how things go. It's at the uh, pinnacle point of Wolfbreeze Wolf Hill. And uh, I'm going down. And what's really cool is we've got one of these. So I've taken a picture of it and I thought I'd show you the view as well. So this is the highest point of today, 156 meters. Actually a little bit further up was 156 meters. Uh, and I don't know if you can see the direction the hay is being blown, but it's blown in my direction to take me to Humber. And I can kind of see it. Uh, I mean, you're not going to be able to see it, but the, I can see the sea from over there or the mouth of the river going into the sea, I guess. Um, this could be a good ride today. I like tailwind. Finally, a tailwind. How long would it go on for? I have no idea. Let's find out. This downhill is sweet. Oh, yeah. I just want to point out as well. I've got to say, just change hands. Um, this is the Lincolnshire Walls. So basically, lots and lots of fields. I just thought I'd like to show you that. This ride at the moment is very undulating. Um, if I move to the right, you can probably see the road there. See that? So there is a hill coming up. But you've got a downhill section here to get up some speed, but I still have to climb out of it. Well, we did have a tailwind. Um, now I have a headwind. Yay! And it's been on like that for some time now. Plus, uh, undulating hills. Oh, where am I going to get one of those easy days? They're the real pleasurable ones. Man! Look at it. Look how windy it is, guys. I did have it with me behind my back. I noticed the route has changed now. And so, yeah, it looks like I'm not going to have the wind on my back. Oh. Plus we've got undulating hills. My question is, we don't get one of those easy days, you know? Wind's behind the back, nice and sunny, not too hot, absolute pleasure to ride. When am I gonna get one of those days? That'd be freezing cold, undulating hills, strong headwind. Plus the threat of having a get a rain door. Farmer's convoy. I'm going to get on the back of this because I'm going that way. Oh. So, good news is, definitely not going to be croc infested. Bad news is, I don't know how deep that is. Uh, do we go? Do we risk getting absolutely soaked? Um, hmm. Uh, I chickened out. I didn't, I didn't go through that water. Uh, my thinking is, because it is an off-road trail, if there's a big body of water like that, then carrying on the rest of that off-road road trail, probably be flooded in other areas. So I ended up doing uh, maybe a three kilo, kilometer detour, which was quite quiet until I got onto the A something or other. And then, wow, so much traffic. You can kind of hear it in the background, but I don't think you'll be able to hear it. Oh, the wind is relentless, but now, so it's a westerly wind. And so this morning I went out towards the east and then the route kind of brings you back around. So I thought, oh, nice. Got a tailwind thinking I was going north. So I had a southerly, I thought, but no, it's uh, it's westerly. So it's been a, a bit of a fight going out that way. And then just a minute ago, doing that little detour, 
I was fighting against it again. Um, but I think for the rest of the ride, we're pretty much going north. So uh, I'm gonna have a side wind all the time. It is proper blustery, you can see it on the trees. Um, probably hear it when I direct the camera that way too. Anyway, we're back on track. We've got about 11 and a half kilometers now as I'm climbing up the hill, chatting and climbing up the hill uh, until we get into um, Barton on the hum Humber. But I think everyone just calls it Humber for short. There is something quite spectacular there. If you're not from that area, uh, then you probably don't know. Um, but if you are from that area, then you will know. Anyway, we're getting to it slowly but surely. So far, I'll give you some statistics uh, 57 meters up and climbing. I've been riding now for 2 hours 22 minutes, I've done 44.94 kilometers, and the remaining of the ride is 55.55 kilometers. Well, there you go, all the fives. Uh, I said I'll arrive there around about 2.56, but it won't be. Once I get to Humber, I look to get a hot drink, and I'm probably gonna go to the library. I need to charge up my devices. So far, no one's contacted me on warm showers, so uh, it's not to worry, it's last minute, and you know, people have got a busy life, so it's not so bad. Um, Again, you just gotta be prepared for anything uh, when cycle touring. Um, always expect the worst, and then anything better than that, if that comes your way, is a result. So, when I say the worst, I mean, it's gonna be wild camping, but I haven't figured that out yet, where that's gonna be. Uh, but, it always works out, right? So, no problem. I mean, it might mean that I have to carry on riding a little bit further. When it's a problem is when it's raining. You have to ride in the rain and it's already cold. I thought already, by this time of year in the UK, that it would be warmer now. You know, we're, we're coming up to August. Or are we, are we in August? 29th of July. And normally this time of year is really hot, sunny, but like 12 degrees this time of year. I think the high today is of 15 degrees or something like that. That's ridiculous. Um, and I haven't prepared. Actually, I'll just stop a minute and show you the traffic. I haven't fully prepared winter gear. <laughs> Because that's what it feels like to me. Um, like the, the leggings that I have are have a cooling effect. It's supposed to keep it cool in the sun. So I would imagine they're not keeping it warm whilst riding. Uh, I did have thermal tight leggings, whatever you want to call them. Sleeves, leg sleeves. And yeah, so I don't really have the right kit for winter winter riding. Uh, anyway, hopefully it'll perk up. You know, it goes through these spells of like being really, really hot and great weather, and then then it goes to cool and crap weather, right? So maybe we're in a crap weather spell. We'll see. We'll just see how it goes. So yeah, it's just a little bit of an update for you. Bit of a long one. Let's keep riding. A couple of weeks back. I was looking at the weather in Scotland and it was like saying 22, 24 degrees. Uh, so that's another reason why I didn't prepare sort of uh, colder weather clothes, you know. Um, what is British weather like? Honestly, I, I, this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to tour in the UK. It's just uh, crazy erratic weather. If you can get a good winter, window then that's that's all great but uh if you start cycling and a bad wind a bad spell of weather comes along oh man it's it's horrible we've arrived at the humber 
alive guys. Um, I think it's downhill now into the town. So I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna show you something cool. You can kind of see it in this picture just a little bit. But uh, there's a hit for you. I'm going to go stay with a warm showers host and that's uh, this side of the uh, Martin upon Humber uh, so I'm not going to be able to show you today the surprise because you just have to wait until the next ride which I don't know what's going to happen now there's a reason we have these high winds. It's because there's a real strong storm coming. Uh, it's called a uh, storm alert. And, uh, it's ridiculous how windy it is. I had to battle this all day, but it's actually going directly into it. What's my speed right now? My speed. 18, 19.7 As you can see, we were talking about A roads, right? How busy they are. Yeah, you can see they're pretty busy. Um, so, yeah, I've uh, got a really good opportunity to stay with a guy called Peter and his wife Lynn. He's a cycling coach. Actually, he's got quite the impressive uh, portfolio. He is part of the Sustrans group who, like, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but he's part of that group. Uh, he oversees uh, cycling races. He's watching one now. She can't believe the win. And uh, he's planning to cycle the world be the first person with disability to do it and break the record or something uh, but I'll find out more information tonight uh, yeah so the uh, the offer is too good to refuse so it's taking me off route by 10 kilometers and it means today I'll fall short of 50 um, so I'll have to make that up at some stage I'm not gonna worry about it right now um, It'd just be a nice to have a short day. I've been running now for 11 straight days, no rest day, so this can be kind of a short rest day. Although, well, that, that storm tomorrow it will be on this, it will be in this area tomorrow, so I expect it to have really heavy rains and high winds. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Weather man can always be wrong. Oh, going uphill, guys. It's a struggle. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this video short. If I see something on the way, I'll show you. Uh, but anyway, we're heading towards uh, Scunthorpe. We're not, not too far away from it. Um, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the video today, even though it's been short. It hasn't been much to see. See you later. Okay, I'll spoil the surprise. So there's the uh, Humber Bridge over there. As we've got a gap in the opening of the bushes. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty famous bridge. But I'll show you better pictures tomorrow and videos as I get closer but yeah I just thought I'd treat you to that anyway because I feel like I kind of cheated you a little bit by doing a short ride today still doing about 70 kilometers by the way um 70 kilometer day look at that straight 